Across Victoria, we are losing significant quantities of topsoil due to sheet, rill and wind erosion. Topsoil is the dark surface layer of the soil, usually 10 to 20 centimetres deep. Topsoil is essential for growing crops and pastures, for feeding grazing animals, and is a source of food for the world's growing population. Topsoil is priceless and irreplaceable. Over much of the state, we are losing topsoil at an unsustainable rate, five to ten times higher than it is being replaced by natural processes. In a paddock like this, the rate of soil loss could be 50 times higher than its natural replacement rate. On a yearly basis, this would equate to about 13 tonnes per hectare of lost topsoil, about 130 kilograms per hectare of lost organic matter, and around 15 kilograms of lost nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. While difficult to quantify in economic terms, this landholder could easily be losing $100 per hectare per year in fertiliser alone, without putting a value on the soil itself, organic matter and off-site impacts. In some of our more productive horticultural areas, we are losing topsoil at an even higher rate due to slope, high rainfall intensity and excessive cultivation. Topsoil is by far the most precious fraction of our landscape. We rely on topsoil to recycle organic matter, provide a habitat for biological activity and provide all the essential nutrients required for plant growth. Topsoil absorbs and stores large volumes of air and water. Topsoil is a powerhouse of our agricultural industry. Over time, erosion leads to surface sealing and compaction, which significantly reduces plant establishment and growth. What is causing this massive loss of topsoil? Topsoil loss is brought about by exposing our soils to wind and rain. The result of overgrazing, tillage or natural causes such as bushfire. A lack of cover exposes our soil to the enormous energy of raindrops and wind. Raindrops pound the soil with enough force to lift the top layers of the soil. This results in massive damage to the soil structure and increasing volumes of surface runoff. The problem is magnified on sloping land as soil is swept downstream in a sheet of muddy water. As this flow gathers speed, it changes from sheet to channel flow and forms small gullies or rills across the paddock. Wind erosion, on the other hand, occurs when the speed of air moving across the soil surface exceeds the ability of the soil particles to stay in place. The very fine fraction of the soil, containing most of the soil nutrients, becomes suspended in the air and can travel for hundreds or thousands of kilometres. Erosion mostly occurs during summer and early autumn, when our soils are dry, ground cover is low, and summer thunderstorms are a common occurrence. Often this erosion is barely noticeable to the eye, however it still has a significant impact on our soil. So what can we do to prevent sheet, rill and wind erosion? In most cases the problem of sheet, rill and wind erosion can be avoided by simply maintaining good ground cover at all times of the year, particularly during summer and late autumn. 100% ground cover will give you total protection, although this is not always achievable. However, on steeper country or any landscape prone to soil erosion, pasture cover should be maintained as close as possible to 100%. Cropping should be restricted to slopes less than 5% and use techniques which minimise excessive cultivation. Crop or crop stubble should be maintained to provide at least 50% ground cover 
and have at least one third of the stubble anchored firmly to the ground. So how can you assess ground cover accurately? Start by making a square frame measuring about 30 by 30 centimetres in size. Then toss the frame in a random fashion onto the ground. Then use benchmark photographs to make an assessment of ground cover within your square frame. Repeat the process 10 times or more and average the results. For more information, please go to the Agriculture Victoria website or ring 136 186.